Behind me, there are five men, but only one of them is my real husband. I'm gonna be doing a series of challenges to figure out who my real husband is. But V, don't guess wrong, because you have to take your new husband out on a date. Oh man, I don't wanna do that with a stranger. I mean, you are my husband, so I think I know you pretty well. Yeah, you better. Everybody mix up and confuse the heck out of V. She'll never guess on number five. We're gonna do the bicep challenge. I have 20 seconds to feel out who my real husband is. <laughs> Contestant number one, come on up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> well, I had to give it a little pump beforehand. That's what Arnold taught me to give it the pump. So uh, yeah, I, I feel pretty good about the bicep test. Okay. Well, you've been working out, whoever this is. Okay. <laughs> Contestant number two, I'm ready. Oh, oh, okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so uncomfortable for me. Oh my goodness, okay. Wait, what's this? Oh, is there? <laughs> Okay, three. <laughs> three. Just at number three has huge biceps. Oh my gosh. Wait, oh, up, up here. Oh, interesting. <laughs> All right. Oh, I even find, uh, feel some triceps back here. All right, this person works out. Okay, thank you, number three. Number <laughs> four. Okay. Mm. What? What's going on? Mm -hmm. Why are you making that noise? I feel like trying to throw me off. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm working with some some good material, but why am I here? Like, I just got out of a pretty messy breakup, and um, the more I think about it, the I should just not be here. All right, thank you. <laughs> contestant number four. Final contestant number five. Hmm, hmm. all right. <laughs> Wait, is this, a, are you, this feels similar than like number three. He actually thought my biceps were the same size as number threes. That guy's huge. I'm not sure I built exactly similar to Chad, but she seemed to think so, so it all works. What? Wait. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't done. <laughs> you guys aren't tricking me, are you? Whew, okay, guys, that round was actually very challenging. I didn't know which one was my real husband, Chad. He's either not in that round or he was in that round twice. Not quite sure. So instead of a field test, let's do a smell test. <laughs> Hopefully uh, he's wearing the cologne that he usually wears. Just kidding, he doesn't wear cologne. He actually doesn't even wear deodorant, so. All right, let the smell meter begin. Consistent number one, I'm ready for you. I guess you, you could say that I'm all natty when it comes to smell and when it comes to muscle. So I just go with my natural scent. And I, I did shower this morning, luckily. It was my one day a week, so, you know, she caught me on a good day. I didn't smell a thing. I didn't smell anything. Man, this is gonna be bad. Number two. Why do we even know what I'm sniffing? <laughs> What's going on? Okay, do I do it now? Um, number three. Man, I, I don't know what to do. I feel a presence. Or I smell a presence. <laughs> hmm. It's a cologne of some sort. I don't recognize this scent. So right before the scent test, I put on a little extra. I think that really impressed her, so very happy about that. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. It could be Axe or it could be Old Spice, you know, that guy. I don't even know, four? I'm losing track. Wait, I hear something. What's going on? What's going on? Are we filming? What's going on? Why, why is, what, what is that noise? Ah, what is that? Why, is that a sandwich? Wait. It's Taco Bell! That's Taco Bell! No! This... 
That was, are you still there? Chad like loves Taco Bell. It's very well documented. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. Number five. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. What's going on? Sorry. I can't smell anything. <laughs> I shoved my armpit in her face and she said, I don't smell anything. Oh, okay, that was really scary. I, I, I always just felt like a presence. One was like Axe body spray or something, and then um, and there was a Taco Bell one. Chad loves Taco Bell. I don't know. The scent and the bicep didn't match with my husband. I actually don't know who my real husband is right now, so we gotta do a third challenge. Chad got some moves. The Minnesota Midwestern guy dancing moves. So I think I can spot that anywhere. I can see his silhouette. You got 30 seconds, contestants, to show me your best dance moves. All right, contestant number one, let's see your moves. Three, two, one, dance. Oh my god! I already know who this is! <laughs> this is not my husband! I know who this is! You know, this was always gonna be a challenge. As you guys know that I, I married Chad and V together. She knows a lot about me too, and I do have an unmistakable style of martial arts. Okay, you can stop dancing. I already know, I think I know who this is. Okay, contestant number two. Three, two, one, dance! Oh, a flop, huh? Oh, wait, maybe not a flop. Oh. oh. <laughs> that is not shit. This person had their thumbs up like that, and the curvature of the thumb and the height of the thumb didn't match up, but, but, they are behind a silhouette. Oh, that is not shit. Get out of here, contestant number two. Number three. Three, two, one, dance. Huh, this, this person doesn't know how to floss. I don't, what is that? What, what's, what's happening? What is that? Chad and I kind of congregated right before and I tried to imitate his dance moves uh, as best I can. I think I might have fooled her a little bit. How about, can you do a body roll? Oh my gosh, okay, <laughs> Hmm, not quite, Chad. He could be fooling me somehow. Thank you, number three, let's see number four. I just have always known that I'm an excellent dancer, so I'm a shoe in. Three, two, one, dance. <sighs> what is this? That is not a floss. <laughs> what, are they flossing? Oh, what is this? What is this? What is going on? Can you can you do um, Michael Jackson beat it? Beat it. Oh, beat it. Oh. I, I, don't, I don't think this is it. <laughs> All right, I don't think number four is Chad. So let's see contestant number five. Three, two, one, dance. Huh, this person can't floss either. I don't know, You're, I think they're trying to not do it correctly. Okay, let's see some Michael Jackson moves. Cause Chad loves Michael Jackson, right? And he, he dances it a lot, okay. Um, that's the moonwalk, okay, okay. Hmm, that's not right either! You're tricking me! Hmm, okay. Thank you, contestant number five. <laughs> Man, I think I blew it, because I was trying to dance really bad on purpose. I know V knows my dancing. I think she figured it out. Okay, that was actually really tough. I thought I was able to identify Chad shape. Oh, I don't know. Three and five. That's what I'm narrowing it down to, but I'm not quite sure. So we need to do another test, like a shoe test or something. Chad has big feet. Maybe I can identify it somehow. Maybe by the scent. I don't know. Come on, contestant number one. Let's fill some shoes. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, what? <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is a tennis shoes, soft, um, upper sole. I'm not sure if Chad has any upper s soles that are soft. You know, I wasn't surprised that she picked up on the dance moves, but uh, the shoe test, I didn't know like that would give me away, but, you know? Yeah, yeah, this doesn't see, feel like a Chad shoe. Thank you, contestant number one. Number two. Oh, wait, what? Ah, ah. Mm-hmm. Yes, this is a converse. This is not Chad. Thank you, contestant number two. I feel like I'm gonna hit you with this. Thank you. 
Contestant number three. Oh, this is a pair of dress shoes. Square toe, almost an inch insole. Okay, well, this is about the right size. I mean, I do know Chad has a pair of black shoes that are very similar to this. Interesting, okay. I didn't even know Chad had shoes like this, but she seemed impressed by him. I'm confused now, number three. Me <laughs> okay, number four. What? Okay, another tennis shoes. Uh huh. Oh, wait! I just touched something! What? Is there some. Oh, there better not be anything gross. Oh my gosh. You guys! Ah! What is that? What is that? There's so many. There's a bottom of this shoe! Okay, I feel kind of bad because I did step in something on the way here. I could actually smell it like the entire time that we were standing there. And so I just keep thinking, oh my gosh, I should get like a rag or something. But there was no time. We were already filming. So I left it. <laughs> Number five. Oh, wait, why is there, is there? Is that residue? Or is, is there stuff on here too? <gasps> no, guys, what is that? These are different from the rest of the other shoe. It has these things, not a Converse, because the con this is rougher than the Converse. Okay, these might be the Adidas ones. If I would've known we were doing a shoe test, I would've brought different shoes. I was wearing my Adidas today, so. I can't believe she identified this just by feeling it. Okay, all right, thank you, number five. <laughs> Okay, I was really trying to plug my nose and not smell anything because uh, men's shoes, no matter if it's even your husband, it's just not good. Number two and number four are definitely not it. Number two is just kind of rude. You know, like putting that shoes right in my face, that's just not, it's not cool. And number four is just nasty. I don't know what you stepped on, where you've been, but one, three, and five, the width of the shoes were all similar. And I was like, hmm, might be Chad. Style-wise, not number one though. I really do think I know who it is, but I just need to confirm it because I don't want to go on a date with a stranger. I just want to go with my husband. So let's do a pickup line challenge test. Contest number one, let's go. Oh gosh, okay. Do you, do you like raisins? Uh, no, I do not like raisins. Well, how would you feel about a date? Oh! Get it? <laughs> These lines are so creepy coming out of whatever that is. It just sounds like Hannibal Lecter trying to pick me up. And <laughs> You know, I tried to come up with the best Chad joke that I could come up with. It didn't quite fly, but I think it was close. All right, thanks, number one. I'll prune about it. Okay, no, uh, contestant number two, you're up. Did okay. you fart because you blew me away? What? Who is this person? Do I even know this person? All right, can you repeat it one more time? Did you fart? Because you just blew me away. Oh, God. <laughs> no, okay, all right. 100%, that's not Chad. I mean, it's just not possible. All right, contestant number three, I can't even like acknowledge that. Uh-huh. Okay. I talked with Chad right before. They apparently met at a Vietnamese restaurant, so I think that fooled her a little bit. I feel like it's trying to trick me by using that Vietnamese restaurant in that pickup line. All right, number four. Let's hear it. Does this rag smell like chloroform? Wait, what? Chloroform? Does this rag smell like chloroform to you? <laughs> No? This is Darth Vader? What's going on? What's happening? The pickup line, it, it's, uh, it's funny, right? My last girlfriend thought it was hilarious. Right up until she dumped me. <laughs> okay, I didn't count number four at all, but and then he went, hmm? And Chad does that a lot. He goes, hmm? It's a, as, a, as a joke all the time. So then I'm confused now. 
I feel like you guys are tricking me. Okay, number five, let's hear it. What? Wait, is that a pickup line or is it a f question? Do you like Star Wars? That's not a pickup line. Do you like Star Wars? Yes or no? I don't even know what to say. Yes or no? No. That's too bad, because I could pretend to be the Death Star and destroy your penis. Oh! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Give me something to throw at that number five. <laughs> Once I heard her tell number four that he sounds like Darth Vader, I was like, okay, I got the perfect pickup line. I think that kind of threw her off. Okay. I smelt, I felt, I listened, and I think I know who my real husband is, Chad. I'll start eliminating the contestant that's least likely to be my real husband, Chad Wild Clay. I think that is contestant number two. That was rude and too immature. <laughs> Next person that I do think is not my husband is number four, contestant number four. The disgusting shoe really threw me off. I really didn't like that. Even though they had the Taco Bell, the dancing was not quite there either. So you're out number four. The next person that's least likely to be my husband is contestant number one. I think I know who this person is. I think it is our best friend, Justin. What gave it away is his dance moves. He's like this, like that. That's just, this has got to be Justin. All right, so we're down to number three and number five. This is actually really tricky because during the dance section, same, same height, very similar body type. So that was, that was different. Hmm, the shoes, the shoes fit. Gosh, but I feel like in the dance section, number five tried to trick me. So even though like the dance moves, I really feel like it might be Chad. Number three and number five can be doing this together to like confuse me. So did Chad borrow the dress shoes to number three? Or number three is Chad and huh. He showed number five the dance moves. Hmm. Okay, I feel it in my body. I think number f is my real husband, Chad Wild Clay. Let's go on our date. <laughs> okay, so this may or may not be my husband. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. Surprise! Hey, <laughs> hey you Yay. found your husband. Yay. So proud okay. of you. I would have been so mad. I'm very happy that you thought me and number three had similar biceps. That's pretty cool. Okay, that was uh, that was pretty tricky. The Taco Bell thing was pretty tricky. Well, I'm glad I found my real husband. See you guys in Chad's video, and thank you so much for giving this video a big thumbs up. And shout out to all you guys who get here in the first 60 minutes, showing a bunch of your comments down here. Thank you so much for getting here right on the uploads. See you guys next time. Bye. Let's go on our date now.